Uh, Rob Lewis, are you here? Rob Lewis, okay. Hi, I'm Rob Lewis. I'm a software consultant. I have a company called Radical Imaging. I'm not here to talk about that. Actually, I'm glad Andy went before me in uh, telling us all how expensive everything is because I'm here to tell you sometimes the best things in life are free. So I want to talk about the Open Health Imaging Foundation. It's a relatively new organization. Our focus as a nonprofit is on medical imaging software, uh, clinical radiology applications, oncology metrics, basic research, um, whatever else you might want to use it for. But the focus here is on open source. Um, the things that we produce are all licensed with an MIT license, which is very permissive for uh, commercial applications. You can do anything you want with it. Uh, our focus is on delivering imaging applications to web client. So that's not news these days. But it is important because a lot of the legacy applications are becoming, uh, as you all know, uh, something that IT departments are resisting. They don't want you know, all these uh, constraints around fat clients and a web solution is, is more appealing, particularly zero footprint and HTML5 solution. So that's what we're focusing on. Uh, what we build is based upon a thing called Cornerstone. It's a JavaScript component created by a guy named Chris Hafey. Probably a lot of you know him. Uh, it's the kind of thing that uh, removes barriers uh, for groups that want to build software and they don't necessarily have the time or the interest to focus on getting into the DICOM images and figuring out how to deal with the transfer syntaxes and parsing DICOM and things of that sort. So this component will do that all in uh, client-side JavaScript. Uh, it's a powerful component. There's a lot of things, displaying, manipulating images, all the standard things that you know, radiologists typically want to do leveling, pan, zoom, et cetera, all very fast, full 12-bit uh, window level support. It's a great component, very feature rich. But if you aren't a programmer or you don't have the time to build a complete application around that, uh, that's one of the things we're working on. So we call the OHIF viewer. It's a great name. Actually, not a great name. Uh, there's a prize for anybody who comes up with a better name. Just come see me. I'm not going to tell you what the prize is. Um, did you see the empty ball at the beginning? <laughs> okay. So this is a turnkey solution. It's built on Cornerstone. It handles a lot of the um, IHE basic image review uh, features that you would typically expect in an application for imaging. Uh, additionally, we've added some things like uh, filterable sortable study list, a tab UI, uh, some nice things like import and export of DICOM, hanging protocols, and we're working on a number of advanced features. But these are things we've done so far. Uh, that's what it looks like uh, up close. I'm going to take a lot of time there, but on top of that, we're also working on uh, uh, oncology metrics application called Lesion Tracker. This is something that the NCI has given us some money to do um, in cooperation with the MGH Precision Imaging Metrics Lab. It's also uh, funding this application. They're generously donating functionality, uh, professional UI design, as you can see in the next slide. It looks very nice. Um, and they're also helping us out a lot with the QA, uh, standard operating procedures, helping us be very organized about our development process. Um, particularly when you want to apply for something like FDA 510K approval, you need those kinds of things. So, I think I'm way under my time. But anyway, in case you wanted to look uh, a little bit more about these things, here are some useful links. Um, you can find out more about the uh, Cornerstone project and the source code there. Um, Cornerstone Forum is where you can um, you know, see what people are thinking about, post questions, get them answered. Um, the OHIF viewer and lesion tracker, we also have uh, source code on GitHub. You can uh, download the code, you can you know, deploy the application yourself. Uh, there's sample um, applications you can run right on the web page. Just click on the links. And our JIRA instance is also available. It's publicly available. You can sign up uh, for an account. If you want to see what we're doing, if you want to see where we need help, or uh, just generally keep track of what's going on, you can go there. Uh, if you want to catch up with me, you can find me at my website, radicalimaging.com, or you can just send me an email. Thank you.